Let's see if the controller works on this. Yes, I think this is going to be a gamepad game, so I'm going to try that. All right. I have played I Am Bread in the past. Now I am fish. Oh, jeez. Let's take a look at our options real quick. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to have that Finding Nemo-esque-ness to it. Not in the way you're expecting, though, let me tell you. Well, I tell you what. I tell you what. Begin new fish. Eh, iron fish mode. Little fish with a helmet. That was cute. Battlefish. Mm. So people on the stream can't see it, but the little loading image in this bottom corner of the screen is a little fishbowl with a fish swimming in circles. <laughs> it's kind of appropriate. Bakery. What am I doing in a bakery? All right there, Bob. How's it going? Huh? Oh, All right, there, Bob. Bob. Yeah, yeah. Good, thanks. Why was that first Bob in all caps? Mm -hmm. Ah. I thought this is I am fish, not I am bread. Oh, sorry about that. Um, sausage roll, Here, please. Have some squirming some bread. Specialty bread. Like Previously on AMC's uh, The Walking Bread. No. Just a sausage roll. Don't look at the bread. Oh, just I buy it, please. On the house. Uh, Why is the bread jiggling? Uh, what? Okay, sure. Whatever. It's giving me fr giving out free bread. What? That's suspicious. I'd love some of that specialty bread. I'm sorry, we're all out. Yeah, that bread was moldy, anyways. Oh, oh my God, it's alive! I can't eat that now. Don't let that go to waste. I have a pet shop just down the road. I Why does nobody notice that it's squirming? That's what I'm saying. It's probably like a fucking parasite in it. The south of zombie on the dirt. It's got a baby alien. I think at the very yeah. least, the guy be, would would feel it moving while he's holding it. Oh jeez. I'm guessing that that our our fish character is inside the bread somehow, but I don't understand how. Reveal to us your secrets, game. I have a treat for you all. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh, it's like some crack in that oh shit. Oh my god. This this rotting bread has given me sentience. Now I'm even more confused about why this bread was squirming. Wow. You all really like that bread, eh? What was the name of the, the girl fish from the Nemo movies? So you all better uh, Dory. Enjoy. That one kind of looks like Dory, doesn't it? A little, A little bit, bit, yeah. One. Yeah. All right. Oh, sweet, sweet bread. I'm going to eat bread that's larger than my own body mass. I'm going to get this At bread. At least if I add up the pieces. Yeah. I should be getting bigger like Katamari. Mm. Or Maneater. You ever played Maneater, Luca? I have not. It's kind of fun. It game about being a shark and just eating everything in sight. Um. Okay. I guess I got it all. <laughs> wow, wow, shark wow. bait. Hoo -ha -ha. Can I be the piranha? The piranha's kind of derpy. Sweet, sweet freedom! Praise the sun! <laughs> that is a derby looking piranha. Hehehehe! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! No, not Mr. Derps! Not Dory! <laughs> I 
God, I hate those loud ass clocks. You ever been in a room with one of those clocks? Just all you can hear is the tick, tick, tick. Oh yeah. Uh, giving me, giving me like <clears throat> childhood flashbacks. You know, elementary like, school uh, vibes, eh? That too, but uh, my grandparents had one of those big grandfather clocks. That thing was loud oh, as yeah. shit. I think they still have them. clocks look nice, but they are super loud. Mm hmm. Alright. The ocean beckons. Sweet freedom. <laughs> Do not become sushi. <laughs> well, I think those fish were adopted. I don't think they're being sold as food. We don't know that. Oh no, he died! I mean, this is such a. This doesn't seem like a darker game, Aww. just kind of sad. What a shitty little fish bowl. Yeah. For real. You don't put goldfish in, like, those gold uh, goldfish bowls. They need a lot more room. <laughs> Where's my br magic bread, squirming bread? <laughs> oh my god, this is turning into a Pixar movie. I, for real, it's... <laughs> it really is. Also, welcome back, Kai. The, uh... The steampunk game, uh, got real weird, and now it got mutated into a fish. <laughs> We're now playing, uh... That time I reincarnated as a... a clownfish. <laughs> that's... That's a goldfish. Oh, well, you, you know what I mean. Close the enough. time I reincarnate this fish. Here we go. Wee. This is not the gameplay you were expecting, is it, Luca? <laughs> no, but I, I, I definitely find this game to be all... Um, it's got the same charm as the first one you play, but I feel like this one might end up being better. Hopefully. But then again, it's also a full game. Or, it is full game, right? Yeah, this is the full game, uh, okay. whereas the other one was just the demo. Yeah, so because it's a demo, I can kind of cut it a little bit of slack. By the way, you, Kai, you, uh, you missed the best botanical discovery ever. Oh? We, we, we found some jumblies. Uh, I see. We, and they we were found green. literal, literal uh, titty plants. So we contact Star Lord. We found what's left of Gamora. <laughs> now, now your uh, now your stream is back. I was just about to tell you that your stream died. Yeah, I saw it too, which is why I stopped controlling the game for a second so I could refresh it. Over there. Um, but yeah, we we found a uh, this green spherical plant with little orange nubs on them that were called jubblies. <laughs> Quick, Krendar, go play out in the traffic. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> traffic, I'm coming freedom. for you. Drive the goldfish into traffic. Well, now I have to. Don't you dare. <laughs> I think he just rolled it off the side of the thing. Almost. Oh, yeah, okay, you almost did. The game denied you. I mean, I wasn't trying to, but this thing has some hella momentum on it. <laughs> <laughs> Water be that way. Yeah. Yeah. Off we go. I'm going on an it adventure. Oh god, I'm rolling around inside oh the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna have a fucking concussion by the time he's done. <laughs> I'm not sure he didn't start with one. Oh no, that was the, the piranha. He's the derpy one. That was, yeah, that was the piranha. <laughs> Definitely uh, the. Ah, no! Oh no! no. Your counsel he said it was a freak accident. It was the middle of oh the god, night. I'm still alive. No one was there. Wasn't some idiot oh, right? really? That's worse. You maybe <laughs> flop that right into like die. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Yeah, oh, right. No. Jeez. All right, let me see. This game's a teeny bit loud. Uh, that uh, that line, by the way, the I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. That was uh, entirely off the cuff. I haven't gone to Petra. Oh, not scripted. What oh, thing? I'm glad they kept it because that was really good. I, I love it when, when actors ad lib something like that and the director keeps it. No one was 
Especially when it's something like that, because it, it without it, the entire the entirety of the scene changes. Mm. It really added a lot of emotion to it. Yeah, uh, Tom Holland is a force, especially at his age. I am very much looking forward to seeing him play um, uh, Nathan Drake. When the Uncharted movie comes out. Oh, that's That'll yeah, be that, interesting. Guy, yeah. Yeah, he's going to be uh, Nolan North's character. And here's yeah, the best part. Say... Here's the best part. Uh, Nolan North gives him a big thumbs up on it. Nice. It's going to be such, gonna... a, such a different character. Like I was going to say, of the three Peter Parkers they've Maybe. had, um, he's been the I best. forgot the first. Uh, Toby, Toby McGuire, I think, did a good... Um, he did a good Peter Parker. Richard was a good was... Peter Parker. The other, uh, the other guy was it Richard Andrew Garfield, Garfield or something? Andrew Garfield. Gar Andrew Garfield. Richard Garfield yeah. is is Ultima Games. Uh, <laughs> um, he was a good Spider Man, but Tom Holland is a good both of them. Yeah, that that's exactly how me and uh, a guy I used to work with felt about it. Mm -hmm. I think the the the. the uh... The, the most startling thing for me when it came to uh, Tobey Maguire's there is just how well he played Sleazy. Oh, when he went Venom? Uh-huh. Yeah, that... that of course. It was very <laughs> silly and over the top, but... It, it was, it was so you... sleazy, and it was so good, but when you actually look at the drama that happened on the set and everything, it is so in character for him. He is that character. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, it looked like Toby asshole. was having the time oh, of his he's fucking a life. Massive, he's a massive asshole. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, it looked like Toby McGuire was having the time of his life with that role. Well, he, he, he was, uh... There, there's a reason why he didn't come back for other movies and why they ended up getting other actors. is because he just was insufferable to work with. Ah. Uh, I don't understand why people get like that. Like, I understand getting an ego, but why? Why constantly piss people off? Well, don't, well, don't you want people to like you? Like, well, it's, it's, see, it was it wasn't so much. When you get an ego like that, it's not about who, but if people like you or not, because you don't need people to like you. You have you're. You like you you're, just fine. <laughs> you're you're the hot shot. You like you just fine, and people who don't like you, well, they're just jealous. Yeah, and but you, you would think that once it gets to the point where everybody hates you, you would feel a little, I don't know, bummed out and rejected, even if you do think it's their fault. I don't get yeah. it. I've heard he's matured a little bit, but ah. I'm not holding my breath for seeing him in another movie anytime soon, just because oh, people God. Oh. <laughs> hated working with him. That actually cracked the glass a little. Did it? Oh, it did. Did it? Oh, yeah. It did. Yeah, you're right. Um, oh, that's, that a, that's a cool feature. Did you see they're getting um, William Defoe yeah. and I forgot the name of the guy that played Doc Ock. They're getting those two for the next Spider-Man movie. The original dude for Doctor Octopus. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, shit. I, I, I forget. I, I, I've almost got the name on the tip of my tongue, but not quite. I can see uh, his face, but I can't. Something Molina. I think yeah, it's, it, it's, it, I, I know his last name's Italian. Um, better man. Alright, I think I'm just supposed to get in the water here, so I'm gonna go to the end of the pier. I'm going for it! Like, I, I, I like... Sweet freedom awaits! Oh. Super new. Uh, 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 right. uh, Al Alfred Molina, that's his name. Yeah, I, I, I like I can't go over his... this thing. Alright, this way then. It, it, his, uh, Doc Ock. We. But... I like him. Um, you know who I want to see. I, I don't remember his name, but the guy who did Doc Ock in the last game. Yes, I felt that he did a better job overall because I thought that uh, I, I thought that Alfred's Doc Ock was a little bit on the. He was more of a tragic character than the oh, way no, the, he, the, the way this, he... this most recent game one was super tragic. Oh. Yeah, but that's because I, I, they I, spent like two thirds of the game building him up as a friend and nice guy before his downfall. Like they really sold his downfall. It was glorious. Gotcha. 
Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, I thought that, uh... Oh, there's hints. Okay. No, I, I, I'm trying to precisely place it, because I did like his Doc Ock. I just thought he was a little bit more... He didn't feel Doc I, I, I like I like Molina, I just feel like his Doc Ock was maybe not as accurate. It was more It was more to the pompous side, which, uh... M Molina plays a damn good pompous. Oh man, I was so close to freedom. I I'm know just, you got caught by that. Again. <laughs> I'm Open just something. not sure that pompous is early. Uh, Doc Ock. Er, er, yeah, it's er, 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 early it's, it's absolutely. Idiot. It's absolutely later, Doc Ock, but not early. Oh yeah. I, after everything goes horribly wrong, absolutely. Yeah. But which, he which played again that is why. On. Which is why he was so great in the in the le recent game because he started off super humble and nice, and we got to see him being slowly corrupted by the machine. Yeah. Because of the brain damage it was causing, and they explained it well too. Yeah, I, it, that's yeah. It wasn't just like oh, thing happened suddenly. Here we go. It was like. Okay, I warned. I detected this. I warned him about it. We can see it slowly happening. Now that I'm thinking about it, I, that, that's kind of how I felt about um, the way they did Two Face in uh, Nolan's The Dark Knight. Like, I I liked how they built up Harvey Dent as like the White Knight to Batman's Dark Knight, but just because his fiance died, he's suddenly evil. I I thought it was just a little too sudden. The problem is you can't really do these things gradually enough in movies because you don't have enough time right That's and, true. which is why gaming uh, is is often a better medium for that kind of thing because not only do you have the time but because because it's something interactive you feel more in the shoes of the protagonist uh right. and you feel closer to the person yeah that is it work but even like oh, the, the whole yeah. even like like the whole reasoning behind uh the arms in the game made a whole lot more sense yeah. like it, it, you know it, in in the movie it's just like i'm going to try this i'm going to fast track it because i'm fucking dr octavius in the game the entire thing is explained that he has a neurological disorder he's losing control of his body and this is the only way he has to continue his life forward and not just and that it's also the it, only way he can continue his prosthetics work which is being done to help people. Right, like... It, yeah. This is, uh... <laughs> the path to hell was paved with good intentions. Right, yeah. and, f and for... For, uh... Nope. For, for the movie, as valid as it was, because there, there are go. some... There are some scientists that work in that field, that I gotta tell ya, they are, uh... <laughs> they absolutely huh. have that attitude. Ooh. Yeah, 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 my bowl. But that was not Dr. Octavius. Dr. Octavius was a completely different kind of character. He was a humanitarian, always has been, up until the point where shit went wrong. God, I, I, I love how they did handle him in the game, and I'm really curious to see how shit's going to go, because they finally they've announced a sequel. Oh, yeah? Actually, it's interesting. Um... The, the, the sequel might be co-op because they showed some in the trailer. They showed some images of um, Peter Parker and Miles Morales working side by side. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah, did did uh, it, didn't they release like a, a DLC where that that uh, technically uh, uh, technically a standalone, but it it was essentially like it was the game engine from the first one. There was a Spider-Man Miles Morales game that was like half the price of a normal game but also only like a few hours long so yeah it was it was not dlc because it's standalone but it's it, i mean essentially it may as well have been dlc and yeah you, and it was about playing as miles so i'm guessing that the sequel is going to take place after the miles solo game and now spidey and miles are doing a team up so i guess they're probably are they called is it gonna be scarlet spider for that then or I don't know what they're going to call him at that point. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen. To the yep, what I just saw it. What is? KOTOR is coming to the Switch. Oh. Uh, KOTOR Remake. 
They're remaking KOTOR. Um, and that's probably what's coming to the Switch. But uh, I was gonna say, um, as for the Spi Amazing Spider-Man 2, or sorry, Marvel Spider-Man 2, I don't know what's gonna happen if you play single player. Do you have to be Peter, or can you single player as Miles? Or can you swap them at any time? I don't know. I know, that'd be really cool. I would probably rather play as Miles, because he's got different powers and he might be more interesting. Also, I like I really like his costume. I mean, I love me some, ah, some classic, classic Peter Parker, but the black and red is cool. And and, the, and he can electro zap people. I like a lot, a, a lot of the different uh, costume designs that uh, Miles came up with for the Spider-Man character. I don't think I've seen them all. Some of the more uh, the more techy, like mm -hmm. almost cyberpunk aspect ones. Oh. Really cool. Oh, that sounds neat. I don't think I've seen those. But speaking of, um... at least one of them got featured in the uh, Miles Morales game. Yeah, I need to get that at some some point. But I don't have a PS5. Um, but I will eventually. But uh, I was gonna say, um, speaking of techie suits, uh, in the trailer for the sequel, uh, Peter Parker was wearing his suit that has the um, the mechanical arms on it. The Iron Spider. Mm. Nice. nice. I don't know if that's going to be his default costume or just an option, but... Actually, I think it was an option in the last game, but I th it was what was featured in the trailer for the new one, so... Uh, the uh, Miles Morales game is oh. available on 4, so... Yeah, but I want to play it on 5. <laughs> I want, I want to play it at a high. I want to play it at a smoother frame rate and looking prettier. I'm gonna be getting a PS5. I'm just. <laughs> well, you gotta wait for them to actually be available. What year? Well, <laughs> no, actually, no. I mean, technically, I need it to be available to get it, but I'm, that's not the reason why I'm waiting. The reason I'm waiting is because what I do with every new console that comes out, I wait like a year to a year and a half before I get it because a, I want them to be on the like their at least their second hardware iteration, although I think that's coming up. Uh, and B, I want there to be a price drop. And also I want there to be more than two or three games that I want to buy for it. Usually I wait until there's like at least four, maybe five games for it that I want to get. Then I jump in. Yeah. No. I'm not paying $600 for a console that's going to play like one or two games I want and then nothing else for a while. Like, if I've got to wait for all these games to come out, then I might as well wait to to buy the thing, so I'm not paying as much money for the console. That and then the uh, games that came out at launch, they'll also have a price drop, so you'll be paying less for those as well. Yeah, true. <laughs> Your fish like was when like I, the wall. Yeah. When, when I bought my Nintendo Switch, I got like three or four games with it, because a bunch of stuff I wanted for it was already ready to go. I mean, yeah, that's See, what I, I bought, would uh, the... I bought uh, Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, uh, Mario Rabbids, and uh, what was the other thing? Um, they're right here. Um, Octopath Traveler. I bought I bought all of those with the console. I mean, yeah, when I got my PS4, I I paid I think it was 400 for it, and then I got two games for free, and that's when I got Until Dawn and Bloodborne. And the main reason I even bought a PS4 in the first place is because I wanted to play Bloodborne. I hope they do. Um... An upgrade for Bloodborne, where sort of they'll be like, uh, like 60 FPS, maybe yeah. even prettier Bloodborne. That would be that real would, nice. That would be nice, especially since they ported it to the PS5, but it still runs at the 30 FPS. It's like, well, what was the point of porting it then? Also, I like the fact that I'm driving. My fish is now driving it around a um, a a, a, bu a, wheelie a mop cart. bucket. But not not only a wheelie, wheelie cart, but it's a it's a mopping bucket. <laughs> Specifically, it's, it's a mopping wheelie cart. Yes, that, fi that fish is an unlicensed driver. And this guy saw it rolling by, and he's like, "What the fuck's going on?" Also, this, <laughs> this game is uh, surprisingly pretty, actually. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to make, had to make sure my uh, the timer was visible. Okay, hardware has been getting shonkier over time. Um, to find shonky. Well, I've been well, I've been trying to suss that out myself. Mm. Hey, so those things that you keep don't make me run. 
What? Wait, what? Oh, he's chasing me. What the fuck? <laughs> See you later, buddy. You faster, Grant. Oh God, I'm a strong ass fish. Rolling. They hate. Oh, no, I can't. Trying to catch you while I'm riding. Mm. Are they? Ah, <laughs> what rude. A dick. What a douchebag. What an asshole. Okay, I can't get up that thing, so I'm gonna have to try to go across the grass. Yeah. Also, Come dude, on. I hope a dog pees on your shoes. For real. <laughs> For that. Rude. What a dick. So rude. Yeah. I like how it's still making rolling on oh, concrete sounds. It. Oh, it's fucking, that's why it's chasing you. Yeah, but still. You don't yeah. kick you it to, over, you though. Kick you, didn't it. To, you didn't have to kill me. Nope. No. This is. We are it's reclaiming this bucket, bucket in, in the name of fish kind. It's mine. You are walking on the floor, into the ocean. Who are you? <laughs> what are you? Fit. I'm clearly ah, a fish. Ah. Run! Go! Faster! Go! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was terrifyingly close. You faster, Grin! No, not the stones. Swim as, fa as fast as your oh my little god, that fish water looks so nice. can go. And not just because I'm a fish. Hi! <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, go. Wee! There we go, go you Victory! <laughs> Fuck you, <Woo>! haters! <laughs> <laughs> I only got one piece of bread. Though. They hide those really well. Those things That's that you keep driving under, they remind me of the freaking shell icon, like the gas station. It does. Oh, it, it, it is one of those shells. It's just not about the gas station, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, you, sur you survived the dude being a dick, so... Well, the second time I did, but just barely. I think yeah. I was half a second away from getting kicked again. Oi, okay. Still, that's... I, <laughs> you see a fish in a bucket, you don't go and, like, kick it over. Yeah, that was weird. And he, like, he was after his bucket, but like after he kicked it, he like stood there for a second and he started walking back like he didn't give a shit about it. He just wanted to murder us. Why is there a knife? Oh, is that a knife or a syringe? Syringe. I don't. Okay. It's a syringe. There's been a I couple of syringes. A Why are there syringes, syringes in this? Ugh. This is a bit weird. I'm just glad they did such a good job on the. Uh, the water effects in a uh, fish game. Ah. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. Got there water go. again. Like, 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 is there like a crack addict party down there or something? Are people shooting up heroin? Like, why are there so many syringes in that pond? I don't know. You don't know what happens in that park at night. <laughs> I have an idea. Also, oh, somebody's gutter stuff. is super clogged. Whoa! Oh! Ah. Oh no! I, hello, oh, new friend! Oh no, not again! <laughs> so, hello, surprise new friend! We're going on an adventure! <laughs> this other fish is like, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> it was a wonderful thing. <laughs> I think it's dead. Oh, that's. Is it? Um. No, oh, it's, no alive. it's alive. It's alive. It's just kind of derpy. <laughs> It's just things of things. <laughs> no, it's just shock. It's like, what the fuck's happening? Who are you? Why are you breaking into my home? Yeah. It smells the colors. It smells the colors. <laughs> well, yeah, he, it's he like, it's like the whole universe you, like, with his just... cosmic eye. <laughs> why, why, do you... <laughs> it's like, why do you smell like you just came out of a pot full of heroin? Right? Jeez. Even this music reminds me of I Am Bread. I wonder if this is the same dev. I, I want there to be a developer who name has like a naming convention for their game. It's like all of their games are I am something. <laughs> Somebody look that up. Who's the developer? What I'm doing right now. I am doing that right now. Is the second one meddling with my movement burns well? No, I don't think so. But these fish bowls have a lot of momentum to them because of the weight of water, so... They're always a little awkward. I Am Bread was a fun game, though. 
Although also difficult. Yes, they did. It's the same dev? Ouch. Same dev. Oh, no! Same dev who also did uh, Deep Dungeons of Doom, Surgeon Simulator. Oh, jeez. Uh, World to Drift Island Creator, Emily Displaced, uh, Perfect Date, P U R R F E C T. <laughs> are, are, are you dating a cat girl? <laughs> no, you're a cat that's dating other cats. <laughs> Alright. Oh, so yes, you are uh, dating cat girls. <laughs> uh, well... Or you are the cat girl, one or the other. Or both. Neko, Neko dating simulator. Or possibly neither. Cat Island's no, ghost arrival. Making, that one already exists, uh... Luca, it's called Nico Para. That's no. funny. Like, as Cat Island's newest arrival, it's not long before you realize something's seriously amiss. Or, or should we say, amorous. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> A blend of mystery, intrigue, and wickedly black humor. Will I you hope that game is as, <laughs> I hope that game is at least as silly as Had a Full Boyfriend. <laughs> uh, Which reminds me, actually, um... Boyfriend Dungeon is on uh, Game Pass. Boyfriend yeah, I should Dungeon. Take a, give that a whirl. Also, that game is not what you expect it is by the name. Surprisingly, not a BDSM uh, simulator. <laughs> ah, no. No! Okay, well, by the pizza delivery, man. I, think we're in, uh, I think we're in England. N not sure if yay? Well, yeah, I mean, you could have told that by the electrical ah. socket. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. If you were looking at the at the electrical sockets earlier, you would have noticed Man. that we were in England. That's true. <laughs> I feel sorry for this other fish. We just we just rambled <laughs> in and fucked up his life and got him killed. <laughs> yeah. Twice <laughs> now. Well, that's what the intro was impl was implying we're being transferred from being bred to being fish. The intro to oh. the game was uh, an I Am Bread reference. <laughs> yeah, that that's a, that Maybe. would actually be clever. That would make sense. That would be clever. We, we, ate, we ate the sentient bread, and now we are sentient fish. Mm. And that's why that's this fish kinda, isn't. That's kind of meta. I'd be really proud of them if they actually did that on purpose. I'm sure they did. Probably. I. I'll, I'll give them I, credit for it. Either way, I I, I I believe in coincidences, but not that. that I don't. That might. That's a push. I say there's at least. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's at least a ninety percent chance that was that was on purpose. Oh god! <laughs> ah, they're not the he wall. Says you're gonna have so many concussions. Oh god! All the concussions. Yep. Ah! ah! We, you're free, little guy. You have a much bigger place to live now. I don't know, I think Enjoy he's it. dead. Oh, well. I think he's been he's, dead. I think he gave him brain damage. <laughs> yeah, you Ripper gave him a Rooney. concussion. What the hell kind of traded si- or not traded system. What the hell kind of thing is that? Like, like a self, zip, zip, self -refi refilling fountain. Oh, God. I'm just not- No. I'm just not- Why is it hmm? pipes? I don't know, I and I'm just not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I, I guess you could say this fish is a pipe dreamer. Oh. Aww. No, no. No, the pipes. What? Huh? Okay, there anybody? <laughs> ah. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> the witness, that... no! <laughs> just when you thought you were free, guy. <laughs> it's back! Ah. <laughs> well, <laughs> have a seat, Jar. 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 Whew. I survived. Well, that was convenient. Just in Pepperash for the day. Great weather to come see the Wild Out Bridge. Lucky this. Uh, do you think this is water or vodka really that I'm in right now? Could be gin. Or, or, or gin. Oh yeah, I saw Doris eating one the other day. Has this okay, it actually it, it, it actually handles the way you expect it to. Yeah, I, it only rolls sideways, which is also amazing. 
Also, tricky. that fence is floating. Yes, it is. That fence is not attached uh, to anything. It's a minor detail. The fence has ascended. It has ah. become one with the great ones. Ah! It has become an eldritch fence. Or moonshine. Yes, that's also an option, Burns. You're right. Mm -hmm. How dare you, Bench, get in the way of this vicious freedom. Will this work? I know you said bench, but the way you said it no. sounded like you said bitch. <laughs> May as well be the same thing. <laughs> it did have that bit of that bitch flavor to it. It did. It was amazing. I, pr I approve. Bench. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, look, it's Princess yeah. Leia. Yeah. <laughs> some, some good buns. Ladies. Mm. Oh, I thought that dude was pissing. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I don't know that he wasn't. <laughs> Actually, he might be. I take that back. He might be. I don't know. <laughs> that one girl over there, though. She is poison. <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> that girl is poison. Ah! No, ah! Momentum. Ah! no, no! <laughs> Downhill champion. <laughs> <laughs> when does this hill end? Oh god. The never ending hill. <laughs> roll to the, <laughs> roll to the, the ocean, my friend. <laughs> god, that poor fish. Uh, That's oh, hey. Well tenderized sushi. <laughs> he had all the concussions. Every single one of them. Eh. Okay. Nice catch, so. Eh. I was putting, uh,. Cotton candy in my face, so. Oh. Just, just, just remember to, to wash your food before you eat it, Kai. Oh no. <laughs> that poor <laughs> raccoon. I know. <laughs> it was, Wait, what? It was so cute and sad at the same time. Oh, you haven't seen that, Luca? No. So, so raccoons have a habit of uh, dipping their food in water before they eat it to clean it. Uh huh. Uh, so there was a video of this uh, raccoon that had gotten a hold of some cotton candy. So he went oh, over to, wait, to, yeah. to wash it okay, in a yeah, pond. It. Yeah. And it disappeared, and he looked so sad. <laughs> yeah, he was, like, he was like, where did my food go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing that a while back. That's okay. In the long run, he's just saving himself some cavities. That's true. Uh-oh. I oversteered. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Oh shit. There. Oh jeez. Hey. This is incredibly perilous. Indeed. And not fun kind of peril either. No, I don't see any uh, whips or chains. <laughs> Or, or a uh, church full of young women. Ah! Oh, shit! <laughs> Down the hill again! Oh, there goes a piece of the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently that bridge is floating. Oh, or, I'm doing spins. No. Oh, I know it's not. Never mind. I thought it was. I kind of keep rotating on my face on the way down. <laughs> Eat dirt. Okay. Uh, now I'm back here. I was, I was right about to hit a checkpoint, too. Ugh. That's how you can tell you that the uh, grass and the dirt flavors of those jelly beans are fairly accurate, and I quite enjoyed the grass. I, I've had <laughs> both of those. Wrong kind of grass. The, no, the I, grass one was surprisingly okay. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of my way to eat it again, but I was like, oh, this isn't bad. I, see, I enjoyed it. You know, I don't exactly have a lot of great memories of, of eating grass, but uh, it, it it had a bit sort of a uh, almost a petrichor flavor to it. The the two that I hated the most was probably the vomit and earwax mm -hmm. flavors. Those, I would I hope vomit, so. The, the I, vomit, I, like when you heard me like gag or whatever, that was when I tried the vomit. When I'm like, nope. Nope, spit that shit he, out. He, he was about to add to the flavor. I literally. Although um, I wouldn't have expected earwax to have much flavor, but who knows? Oh, it, 
Oh, it does. It just, I, it just, I, I, mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe <laughs> the flavor of Erex. It just it was not pleasant. It's so it, it's sort of bitter. Um, and, and how I know this is, I when I was younger, I had a lot of uh, ear problems. And when you get your ears flushed out, your ear canals are connected to your throat. And if it backwashes, you get to taste it. Yeah, ah, fuck. It's, it's, oh, no! <laughs> Again. <laughs> I need to... I think I need to be on a diagonal to the left when I hit that spot. I think so, too. Oh, no, yeah. I can see myself gasping for air. This is very sad. Yeah, it, it's a very unfortunate. Place. Ah, I'm uh -uh. writing my face <laughs> off now. <laughs> I would love to have the piece of the piece of equipment that uh, Jelly Belly has, where they get their flavors. Actually, yeah, when I when I walked out to throw the box of what was left away, my dad actually because he was in the dining room on his laptop and sipping some coffee before oh, yeah. he got dressed for work. He's like, "You all right?" I'm like, "Yeah, I just ate a vomit flavored jelly bean." He's like. You ate a what? <laughs> I showed him the box. He's like, "Why the hell are you eating those?" I'm like, "I don't know, because I'm stupid." <laughs> uh, but I wanted to have that experience. Yeah. Although I have to say, I mean, um, speaking of the uh, the whole premise of this game about how the bread was sentient and now the fish is sentient, hmm? I'm I remember playing I Am Bread and. There was actually a storyline of the bread actually being sentient. Like, it wasn't just some weird gaming thing. Like, it, that was actually happening in the story. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the owner of the house was going insane. Yay, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> okay, right, Jeremy, get your mind. Where, where are we going? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this could still end very badly. Oh, good. Oh gosh. Eh. Eh. Alright, checkpoint. I almost said choke I almost said choke point. Oh I my mean, gosh, Luca. <laughs> you're not entirely wrong either. Ladies? Uh -oh. <laughs> ah, oh no. Ah. Worst thing is I saw that coming like a second and a half before it happened, but I had too much momentum to do anything about it. Oh, Here, have some wood. And a pipe. <laughs> uh, I can't breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Angry John Tron noises. <laughs> what? What? Luca, did I ever show you the uh, the mashup video somebody made of all the times he goes like, ich, ich, ich? I think I've seen it before. I love that little tune. Ich, ich, ich. Does he even make content anymore? Uh, like once every few months. I don't know okay. what he's doing for a living anymore. Man, whoever oh. was working on this infrastructure, like, they need to be fired. Seriously. Like, this, 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 like all these fish. <laughs> this is like an OSHA nightmare. Like, I feel bad for whoever has to come and, like, inspect this shit. Right? Ah. Ah. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Okay. Eh. Eh. Do I have to flip it end over end, or... <laughs> I have to flip it end over end? Oh, God. I can't get it just rolling normally, because it keeps flipping around. Ah! <laughs> I clipped, I clipped through go. the jar. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The inspector's now probably a skeleton going. on the ground somewhere. Yeah, and there's probably a skeleton in those trees down there. So, strange coincidence, this bridge hasn't been inspected in uh, in 20 years, and that's also when uh, when Bob Hoskins went missing. Hmm, coincidence? <laughs> no, that's went a name. Missing. All right? I don't know why Hoskins popped out of my brain just then. But it did. Right, here we go. We am I above the ocean yet? Almost. How will I, how will I be denied my freedom this time? 
Okay, I was gonna say this is this is ah. too ah. Ah. too easy. Ah. Ah. So close, and yet so far. Splat. Go, little guy. You can make it. <laughs> <laughs> More John Tron noises. <laughs> hey, look, it's the uh, the mystery machine. That was clearly a microbus. I believe you mean the feel mobile. <laughs> the what mobile? The feel mobile. It's a second oh. two joke. Mm. <clears throat> feel mobile. Ah, uh, Jack. Jack Black is a treasure. And maybe sometime in the next two or three weeks, we can we can. Uh, Play some Jack Black as the protagonist. There needs to be more games with Jack Black as the protagonist. Yeah. yeah. We need Brutal Legend too. Mm. With licensing to where it's okay to play, to stream it. Oof, that's yeah. Well, that's gonna take a lot of effort on the uh, music industry's part. Yeah, just use uh, indie artists and ask for the right license. That's true. It doesn't have to be big name bands. Yeah, there are a lot of really good indie artists that would kill for the kind of exposure that a game like that would give them. I like the how music good portion is. Oh, go ahead. The music industry is one of those industries where exposure is as good as a paycheck. <laughs> yeah, paying you an exposure actually can work in some cases. Although I'm Just sure Double Fine could go actually, left, but let's see what happens here. I'm sure Double Fine could, could give them a, a check at the same time, but... What do you mean Microsoft? Well, yeah, but still. Yeah, I was not expecting that to work. By the look of the layout, I thought they were going to make us go around the long way, but I guess they are now. Eh. Eh. Hey, Luca, go for it. Eh. Eh. Ah. Oh. Donk. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wait. We're at the ocean. Okay, it's time, it's time to eat. Let's go, buddy. Eat us, eat us, eat us, eat us. Close enough. <laughs> Freedom. Your score, one star out of five. <laughs> Oops, shit. I hit restart by accident. Oops. Oh, Hold on. no. Oh, um, no. Next checkpoint, hopefully. Um, yeah, whatever. Actually, wait, what if I do this? Quit level, return to map. Um, that was level three. It didn't unlock level four. Oh, fucking hell. Wow. All right, no, we're, doing the, we're doing the skip checkpoint thing then. That might work out. <laughs> you might get a higher score. I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just skipping the level. Well, right, but you might end up with a higher score. As poorly as I did, oh, I can't skip this part. I uh, mean, better than having to redo the entire thing. Yeah. Although I do like how Kai is implying that my score was so bad that a literal <laughs> zero score would be better. <laughs> Not a zero score, but, you know... Well, I guess it won't be zero, because I do have to play some of the level, apparently. Yeah, that, and you're guaranteed to lose less. Or die less. True. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll find a way to fuck it up. <laughs> I mean, if your performance from last game is anything to go by, I'm sure you oh, will. Oh god, I died so many times in that game. <laughs> <laughs> Project Grove uh, is uh, a good idea, but janky as fuck. Yeah, the from the way I was watching, it looked like the controls were maybe a little counterintuitive. 
Well, I mean, it was mostly just the classic WASD, except that the button I had to push to, uh... Well, even, I don't know, just the fact that it's WASD at all is a problem for me, but also the button I had to push to make myself use the the, the bubble later potion just made my hand into a claw. The claw! Which button was that? Uh, okay, so W to move forward, of course. So, uh, mm -hmm. And there's a... Oh, actually, we, we were joking about how you left at the perfect time because there's a whole bunch of first-person game jumping platform puzzles to go through after you left. And I was like, Kai would hate this. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to hate this. Not that I mind first-person jumping platforming like you do, the, but... And then you kept yeeting yourself I, off of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have as much fine control because I was using controls I wasn't used to because I couldn't rebind controls. But yeah, there was, a, there was a potion in the game, Kai, called the Bubble Leader that allowed us to pull. It did two things. I think, I think it just made our character way last temporarily. Mm -hmm. So it prevented fall damage and it also allowed us to use geysers to yeet ourselves in the air. Okay. And, and that was on left shift. So I was doing W and left shift and space bar all at the same time. And it was just awkward. <laughs> Uh, barely standard fingering, but I uh, I uh, I I understand because you're used to your weirdness. Yep. Especially when you're <laughs> doing them all at the same time, you know. Also, while trying to uh, be careful about how much you press W, because you have to make sure you're moving forward at a specific velocity when you jump. Because if you're going too fast, you face plant into the side of the cliff you're trying to get on top of or something. Mm. It was not great. Yeah, that's always going to be a problem until we come up with keyboards that have analog buttons. Yeah. But it was um it was a pretty game. Uh interesting concept. Uh that guy's a dumbass. And uh <laughs> it, it, it had some, <laughs> some some lovely ripe green jubblies. <laughs> I like how the bitch is just like, oh, that guy fell, eh, whatever, fuck him. <laughs> yep, that's his problem. I would laugh if, like, because he's flashing like shiny? that. I, I don't know, whoa. Grab Am I going Super there. Saiyan? <laughs> <laughs> you broke the water. <laughs> oh, I oh, see what you, it is. That you, um, that you broke the bridge. There was no level 4 because I'm done with that character. Oh, so I you're trying to the get other them characters. all into the ocean. Alright, let's do Dory's first level. And then we'll call it a night after that. Yeah. Come on, Dory, let's go. I, I was just waiting for, like, some guy driving to, like, see the flashing thing and, like, cause, like, a massive car wreck on that bridge. Then the whole bridge just collapses. Just like Murphy's Law. I don't know. I think at that point it would be Finagle's Law. To, fish is earlier today the was the first reference I saw to that one, actually. Yeah? i never heard of Finagle's Law before. H how did you finagle that one? Finagle's Law uh, is... It's considered a corollary, obviously. Uh, but it, it sounds like Murphy's uh, Law, but worse. <laughs> some historians believe that it actually predates Murphy's Law by about 15 years. Um, so it, it, it depends on whether you want to believe it's a corollary or is the origin story. Uh, but yes, of, of course it is. Uh, anything that can go wrong will go wrong at the worst possible moment. <laughs> yeah. Which is a, a much bigger pain in the ass. For sure. Actually, so uh, I, I used to have a friend whose last name was Murphy, and Murphy's Law was basically his life. Uh, special ability. What? Whoa, I'm flying fish. Can I... <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Come on. I was flying fish directly into the Oh, uh, I died right next to the water. Oh my god, I was a foot away. 
so when that fish was like looking outside, seeing the gold, the uh, the yeah, you know, the goldfish like jump up, it's like the beacons of Gondor are lit, or the be yeah, the beacons of Gondor are lit. <laughs> Rohan calls for aid. Yeah, <laughs> or Gondor calls for aid. Shit. Basically. <laughs> How do we talk but that? It's such an awesome guest. Awesome. I did not do a good job of getting used to the steering while I was doing the flying fish maneuvers. Yeah. Oh no! Come on, Dory. Uh, no. Dory, no! Wrong direction! No. Damn it, Dory! <laughs> the fuck is like, wrong with you, fish? <laughs> I nah, I don't. just keep swimming, but uh, I don't think you could swim in wood. No. Yeah, I, I don't think the goldfish did have a special ability. Nope. These people goldfish. are kind of sadistic, making us uh, make us watch them gasp for breath. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, goldfish should not. Well, they never told me I had a special ability, at least. And I think the goldfish was just one. meant to get you used. I think I think the goldfish was meant to just get you used to the mechanics, and then they're like, okay, yeah. now you got the goldfish done, you're gonna have fun. Here's goldfish a was a tutorial. How do we talk back? There's a whole new mechanic you have to deal with. Slight. Next time they move, we'll go big. Yeah, I, I tried. I, I don't know how the. The flight controls work. I tried to go one way and I ended up going the opposite way. I was like, alright, I want to fly in this direction, and instead I nose dive into the ground. <laughs> alright, let's see. Yeah. No? Okay. I told <laughs> you to. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at me go. Nyrome. Please. Kamikaze! Okay, yeah, it's, it's flight sim controls, okay. Oh, jeez. Very, um... Very, uh, sort of accurate to, in the in a way in the sense where if I oversteer, I lose control. So I gotta, like, be careful about how much I steer. Oh, oh that makes sense. Yeah. I never thought I would say that a game about being a fish was an accurate flight sim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here we are. Um. Yeah. Oh, sweet freedom. Sweet life giving water. Yeah. <laughs> you just That's the last it. second there. <laughs> Woo. I, I like how I was like, oh, I'm going dark. I'm going dark. Oh, never mind. I'm okay. Yep. Instant, instant refresh back to, to totally okay. All right, let's see. Um... Well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like that uh, CJ meme from GTA San Andreas. Oh shit! Here we go again. Ah oh, shit! Yeah. Hmm. How do I get to the next patch? Oh, shit. Yeah. Alright. Let's try to do a... Let's see if we can catch some air. Whee! Yes. <laughs> I, I was trying to do that earlier, but it wasn't working. I, I didn't have enough momentum to launch myself into the air enough. I'll just roll across this <laughs> one. <laughs> do a barrel roll! Right? <laughs> I'm guessing I have to go up that way now. Ah, uh, the biggest game meme in the world, and it's the most inaccurate one, too. What? Do a barrel roll. Oh, yes. That is an aileron roll. Yep, barrel roll is different. Very different. Oh, look, I'm suffocating while gliding in the air. <laughs> That actually makes sense. Oh, I like Burnswell nailed this one. Realistic fishix. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the Love barrel roll is, is, is where they like, do a circly thing where they're sort of like rolling around the inside of a barrel. Yep. It's actually a very complex maneuver. Uh, requires a lot of uh, rudder and elevator input, whereas a aileron roll requires 
you might have guessed it, the uh, ailerons. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, those are the control surfaces on the trailing edge of your main wing. Ah. Uh, but let's be honest, dual barrel roll sounds a lot better than doing aileron roll. Oh, surely. <laughs> we... I, I don't... I, I yeah. just wish they actually did a, uh, a barrel An actual barrel roll, yeah. The, uh, the maneuver Went itself right the doesn't, checkpoint. doesn't <laughs> there get we go. nearly... Uh, doesn't get nearly enough love. <laughs> Crash before takeoff. You really need to build up vertical momentum to get to that jump to work. Meow. Meow. And the, and the Air ah, Force would call that. Oh shit! Ah. See, you were showing off, and now look what ah. happened. I wasn't showing off. I was I was failing to steer well. You are no Sully. Ah. No. <laughs> that was still really quite impressive, actually. Oh, that Captain was. Sully. Yeah. Oh yeah, what he did was fucking amazing. The only Sully I know is a cranky old man. What are we talking about? The only Sully I know is the main character from Monsters Inc. I oh, he okay. was two, two Sullys then. <laughs> he, he was uh, a commercial pilot that ended up with a full engine failure on a jumbo jet ah. and ended up landing it in the Hudson. Oh, Hudson. Cool. I think so, yeah. The Hudson I think River, it was Hudson. Yeah. yeah. It's like, on takeoff, ended up with a multiple engine failure. He said, we're going down. We don't have a choice. And he just brought that bird in as smooth as butter. Beautiful landing. All things considered. You know, yeah. If, you're, yeah. if, you're, if you're going to crash, crash like Sully. Crash with style. Car carefully. Yeah, no, uh, nobody died. There were a couple of lawsuits to the, the, wow. uh... <laughs> <laughs> slap, 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 slap. There goes my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, something about lawsuits. There yeah, are a couple la lawsuits from what now? Uh, lawsuits that went to the, uh, the airlines, which... I'm... <sighs> Is it really the airlines' fault that the plane hit a flock of birds on takeoff? No. But, no. uh... Like, at the same time, I, I kind of understand it in this case, because, uh... There were some, like, minor yeah. injuries. Yeah. Like, whiplash, whiplash type things, but ultimately, everybody survived. And, uh... I think somebody just wanted to be butthurt, honestly. Probably. I, th there's probably some of that, too. Uh, but honestly, you know, the, the airlines are not going to hurt over this. And if somebody did have genuine medical bills to take care of after something like that, you know, the airlines, the, at the very least, the airlines should have just said, you know, we don't have to take this to court, just here's a check. But instead, they said, well, do it through legal channels. Oh, it would God, be I nice if so much trouble when I oversteer. It's so hard to correct back. Yeah. Without going into nice a nosedive. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it'd be nice if companies were just like, yeah, you know, it... It could have been a lot worse, but, you know, you have a medical bill, we'll take care of that, don't worry about it. Imagine you're, like, walk, going for a walk in these hills, and you see, like, a fish gliding down the hills. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck yeah. is going on? <laughs> um, where am I going next? Oh, there's a trough over there. Okay. Yeah. Very careful, Neum. Okay. Um, and then... Now what? I think there's, like, another, like, well or something in, in behind that fence. It was the Hudson, by the way. I looked it up. Behind this fence here, you think? Yeah, I think so. Well, hopefully, because I do not appear to have very many alternative options... Um, yeah, there better be, because the trough's mm -hmm. pit, pit, uh, facing this way, pointed this way. Yeah. Oh, no, there's a lake. Or er, a, a puddle. 
Big ass puddle. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> Quick! Go, Dory, go! Quick. Dory! No. Oh, come on, I made it! Oh, okay, oh. good. <laughs> they gave it to me. <laughs> it's like, oh, holy shit. I out there for a second. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Do a little glide here. Still, there's something funny about the idea of a, a fish that catches so much air that it suffocates midair. <laughs> which, which has happened to me at least twice. Hey, Cirrus. I am a fish, Cirrus. You thought the title was joking. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna go... That oh, cranberry is like salt. Oh, there's water. Yeah. Clearly. What were you saying, Kai? I said that Crandar is poison. Yes. <laughs> the joke is not going to get old. Alright. I have to show what you're, we're joking about so people aren't completely confused. Hold on. Um... Alright, I'm already on display capture. So, um... Wait. I don't know why I have two mm. uh, open. <laughs> so on my merch store, we have... Um, a short drink of beard, which is amazing. Me. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it is good. Um, oh, polo shirt, sure, why not? Oh, actually, no, polo shirt's a bad idea because it's only a little thing. T-shirts. Um... Where is it? Oh, my cat has emerged from her slumbering area. The one downside to enabling your designs on like every type of product possible is you have to do a lot of scrolling. <laughs> Here we go. That girl is poisson. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. This is the only merch design I came up with when, when I was not streaming. This one happened mm. at work. Mm. Because I was, I was working at the restaurant alongside a French guy, and the song That Girl is Poison was on the radio. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and you that girl is got bored. That girl is fish. That's good. It's poison. Silly. <laughs> One of me is that girl is poison. When you're a dishwasher at a restaurant, you don't have time to get bored. Or when you're any job at a restaurant, I guess, really, unless it's a completely dead day, in which case you probably just get sent home anyway. Mm. There's, so there's never time to get bored if, if work is so dead that you, you get bonus free time. <laughs> Because they're like, why am I paying you by the hour to stand here and not have any work to do? I you can worked go home at a, early. I worked at a restaurant for one day. Oh, went that well, did it? <laughs> uh, she was just too good at her job. She was making everybody else look bad. They they couldn't they couldn't have that, obviously. No, um, the owner's wife was an asshole. <laughs> that makes sense. He's like, if I had known you wore glasses, I wouldn't have hired you. Whoa. Wait, whoa, what the what? hell? Did you, tell, did, did, you, did you tell her that's racist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, it, I, I really wish you would wear some makeup so you'd actually look pretty. Oh my I'm god, like, one of those. I'm just like, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, yeah. glasses are pretty, fuck you. Actually, the, uh, the, uh, the, the glasses thing, because... Being of poor sight could technically count as a disability of sorts. What she said there was illegal, and if he had her on tape, he could have owned her ass. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh. And the fun one. That's right. I was allowed well. to, Damn right. I wasn't allowed to take orders because apparently then she'd actually have to pay me. Wait, she wasn't paying you? I was supposed- I was a guest doing a trial shift. 
Did they tell you that ahead of time? Nope. That's definitely uh, they, legal. Yeah, that's not they, legal at all. Yeah. That is all kinds of not illegal. Or all, all kinds of not legal. Not legal. Yeah. yeah my my, my head's going five different directions on that one. Yeah. So, yeah, no. if I had known that at the time, yeah, I could have literally got her, like, absolutely shit on. Instead, I absolutely ruined the reputation. Ooh, what'd you do? That might be better. Uh, told everyone what happened, and they lost, like, three quarters to, like, 99% of their business. Okay, when you say ah! told everyone, de define told everyone. Um... Online rev online reviews, uh, oh. word of mouth. <laughs> I was nice. gonna say like I'm sure she told people she knew, and then they told people that they knew, and then they told the people that they knew, and mm. then everybody's just like, yeah, fuck this place. Oh, if there's one thing y'all should, do. Ooh, if, this is gonna be if a spicy one, one guys, y'all should know. Yeah. Here I come, everybody. I, I am a very sweet person. Love but me. Not, but do not fuck with me. <laughs> You should fly to one of the kids. <laughs> it's like hit him in the uh. head. <laughs> oh, Timmy, what happened to your eye? I have a fish flow into it. Come on. Hold her steady. This was, before, this was before I met all of y'all crazies. Oh, <laughs> uh, but, but how we've enriched your life by being fellow oh. crazies with you. <laughs> just, for, just for the funsies, you should fly into somebody. <laughs> Alright. I was having such a good day, and then this fish just flew out of nowhere and smacked me in the face. I just got a checkpoint, so why the hell not? <laughs> You're our volunteer! Oh, I missed! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it, it's the only thing that makes your day, it's just getting smacked in the ah. face with a random fish. <laughs> I would, I, I, it would definitely make my day to be okay. smacked in the face with a random fish. I have to compensate for the fact that they are going to turn. <laughs> hey, lady! <laughs> ah! That's a pulse. Alright. Back of the head. Alright, I got that guy. Okay, yeah, okay, they didn't react. Yeah, it was a light tap anyway, at that point. Whoops. <laughs> that was a non-starter. <laughs> Failure to launch? Yeah, Ready to launch literally. Ah. Uh, Man, you, you flop harder than the first deep, so Sky, it's a bit Suicide Squad movie. There we go. Wait. Yeah. No! Eh. No! Uh, <laughs> Yellington Market. Early. Oh, I like how they even draw the the uh, the tarps is like sagging because of the water weight on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen the piranha burns and a puffer fish. Hey, should I be perfectly honest? I'm surprised those tarps will just collapse in on themselves with Although, the weight of all that water. Yeah, I don't know if the piranha will be able to fly though. Uh, probably not, but it will probably be able to eat things. <laughs> puffer fish might be able to move stuff out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a kind of a cool mechanic. Yeah, I'm I'm not hundred percent sure how they're gonna handle the puffer fish special ability, but I'm curious to find out. Um one of those spells have vegetables. Vegetables? <laughs> I don't know, that sounds pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Fruit yeah. and oh. veg. Fruit and veg. <laughs> I mean, is is it is it is that what you is that what you call uh, lesbians, f f fruit and vag? Because mm. fruity is is another way of saying gay, right? True. Mm -hmm. Get your yeah. avocados ah. here. Right. I don't want my avocados, they're expensive. <laughs> I 
By the way, any, if anybody wonders why some restaurants charge you extra for the guacamole, it's because avocados are expensive. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's they're like good. they're good though. Four bucks for one avocado. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I failed to push the button that time. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna laugh if you like flew into her head. Right in the back of the noggin. I should have. <laughs> That's really enthusiastic about his avocado. I know, right? His avocado's gotta be damn good. I mean, I hope he's got some cilantro, because I'm I want some guac. And there's yeah, a lot of people out there who make guac without cilantro, and they are fucking up. Also, yeah, no, I want some, make sure like, you got some citrus food. in there. Mm -hmm. Get some lime juice in there. Give it some flavor. Mm. Yeah. The uh, the citrus has, plays two parts in good guacamole. Not only yep. the flavor, but also longevity, so, because the citric the citric acid stops the uh, avocado uh, mash from turning uh. brown. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it is both things. Very important for both reasons. Avocado is not terribly stable. It oxidizes very quickly. Mm-hmm. Sometimes is why, fast enough... Um, sorry, go ahead. Uh, sometimes fast enough that it will actually change color to a different shade of green from the beginning of making guacamole to the end. Yeah. Um... When I was at the restaurant, when we did, when we did our brunches, there were some dishes that would have slices of avocado on the side that go with the uh, the food, and uh, they would have they would not uh, scoop out the avocado like the the avocado would not be processed until the order for the food was made until they were plating it for that reason, right? Mm -hmm. So they plate up everything else, then the last thing is they get out an avocado, cut it open, scoop out the thing, cut it into slices on the plate. Off you serve it, immediately. Um, where am I going next? Do I go into that thing down there? It's the only water I've seen um, around here. I guess. Also, this is a very interesting premise. Excuse me, miss. Very fresh fish coming through. Okay, nope. <laughs> this is no bueno. That's not fresh fish either. Although, yeah. this was the way I was supposed to go, though. And there's just enough water here for me to be not dying yet. Please don't order me. I'm the freshest fish here, but you can't have me. Am I being grilled? No, I think that's rotting fish stink lines. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Right, hey, we're back to driving. The avocado Thank guy God. is proud of his avocados, but the fish guy is not proud of his fish. No. He should be singing about his one dollar fish. Sorry, one pound <laughs> fish. That's two dollars. <laughs> Have you seen that song, Luca? Oh, one no. pound fish guy is amazing. Uh, Kai, can you link it in my Discord f for, uh, for Luca? Yeah. For, the, uh, for once the stream's over, which is going to be soon. <laughs> I like how nobody's questioning a random bucket just rolling on his own. Right? <laughs> like, like that one guy just walked. Like that one guy walked into and was just like, "Oh, pardon me." <laughs> At least he was Speaking polite about it, unlike the janitor. Speaking of foodstuffs, the uh, uh, the dude ah. that does like the oh, videos shit. or whatever uh, put out uh, a handful of new ones. By the way, Kai. The Kifness? Yeah, uh... I, I like the, the the recent one that Kifness put out where he accidentally made music by opening his glove box. Yeah, that one was good. Alright, where is Kif's one pound beat? It's a good tune. Also, I finished going through uh, most of... Um, Device Orchestra, or at least the ones I wanted to listen to. There's a few songs that I don't I don't recognize, so I didn't bother with. But 
Okay, how am I going to do this? Actually, maybe... Maybe I'm taking the wrong approach. I don't want to do this slow. I want to do this fast. Because I want to get spilled into the water down there. Yeah. Alright. Excuse me, everybody. Mop fish coming through. Pretty much, assuming there's soap in that thing, that can't be good for that fish. I know, right? I don't think there is, though, thankfully. It's a, it's a rinsing bucket, not a mopping bucket. Yes. Eh, come on, Dora. You can do it. Oh, wait, I should have gone into glide mode. Yeah. When I spill, I should hit glide mode. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, alright, yeah, that works. Maybe if I had gone slow, I wouldn't have spilled. Okay. Sploosh. Alright, uh, next objective, I'm guessing with that well. Probably. All right. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Do not mind the dying fish that fucked up behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, as soon as you moment. oversteer, you're basically fucked. It was in this moment that Dory knew she got fucked up. Yep. Jeez. Mew. Magical well-wishing fish coming through. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, I only got one of the breads. Ugh. Hey, there you are. Mark the it took you 25 minutes. <laughs> this does look like a game Pixar would make. Totally, I agree. Yeah. I agree. All right, we're going to leave that there and continue tomorrow, guys. Oh, that okay. was fun. Much better than that the other fun. game. <laughs> oh, yeah, infinitely. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, my back. Let's see who's streaming so that we can pick a raid victim. I mean, lucky recipient. Next victim! <laughs> um, looks like Adam Mouse is programming something. Jake is playing a game he's completely unfamiliar with. Oh, Lady Gunslinger is playing Amnesia. Well, we have our victim now, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody. Say hello to Lady Gunslinger. She's a sweet lady. Um, give her some love for playing something that's not Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, does she play Call of Duty a lot? A oh, lot. She, she does. That's she's why she's really good at it. That's why she uh, calls herself Gunslinger. Gotcha. Mm. It, yeah, I'm, I'm sure she's pretty good at it. Probably better than me, but it's not a game I like to watch. But I'll check her out playing Amnesia for sure. Here we go, everybody. Oh, Spooky Have a good game. night and see you tomorrow for more I am fish. Okay, I am okay. poisson. Security mode. Go. <laughs> Security mode, go. <laughs> Alright. Night, friendos. Night, night. Night. Night.